SCI is based in Woburn, Massachusetts, and we are extremely proud of the ongoing impact we've been able to make in our hometown. And throughout Greater Boston, our SCI AmeriCorps program supports youth success by connecting young people with the relationships, experiences, and resources they need to succeed. Each year, between September and June, over 20 SCI AmeriCorps members engage in volunteer outreach and capacity building activities that increase volunteer engagement, provide leadership training, and create service learning opportunities for youth serving programs at our nonprofit partner organizations. Our SCI AmeriCorps members seek to increase the social capital of young people by serving in one of two roles. First is volunteer outreach coordinators who build capacities to support volunteer engagement efforts for youth youth focused programming through organizing community events, community outreach efforts, and program management. And second are youth leadership coordinators who build capacity to support youth development efforts through direct academic support, community service learning activities, and leadership opportunities. This service year has obviously brought new and unpredictable challenges for our program and our members. I've been blessed to lead, support, and guide our 2021 20, cohort of young women and men who have all made significant sacrifices in service this year. I know firsthand that the impact of each of our members was needed more than ever during the pandemic. So now it is my honor to introduce SCI AmeriCorps Volunteer Outreach Coordinator, CC Rosenman, who has been serving at the YMCA of Greater Boston, and will share just a bit about her experience and impact this year. Great. Thank you, Phil. Hi, everyone. My name is Cece Rosamond, and thank you to everyone who made this service year opportunity possible for me. Um, my time at the YMCA is divided across the development office and the teen development branch, where I coordinate volunteers for each office. And this has been a great combination of responsibilities for me because I'm learning how to support nonprofit programs through fundraising work and through direct service with teens. I often help out with the Youth Voices Photography Program, a class that's run in partnership with Seven Photo Foundation. And in this program, high school students meet weekly to learn about telling their stories through photography. Um, this is something particularly meaningful in the isolating time of the pandemic. And beyond that, the curriculum helps students communicate their ideas and develop their voices. We're currently two thirds of the way through the program's nine month run. And I remember our first program meeting uh, when the group of students collectively experimented with their cameras for the first time. They were scattered across 20 very energetic Zoom squares. And one student was so enthusiastic, he immediately photographed his computer screen, taking it upon himself to make a class photograph right from the start. A few weeks ago, we were able to take a more traditional class photograph when we had a group field trip to the Boston Common. There, Youth Voices met in person for the first time. Months of Zoom classes helped this group meeting feel familiar. Over those months, students and teachers built a classroom community that I was thrilled to see coming to life on that field trip. Finally, having time together in person, the young people were able to photograph each other um, talk between activities about things like a shared interest in volleyball and brainstorm ideas with their teachers. I was struck by the value of students and teachers showing up to learn together that day. It reminded me that the connection students gained from discussing their photographs helped them to understand one another. And it's this kind of collaboration across a range of experiences that makes it possible to build stronger more connected communities. Thank you.